Thought I'd make some zero clearance inserts for my new saw. Uh, Laney Shaughnessy told me how to do these and it sounds like a simple procedure. L let's see if I can overcomplicate it. <laughs> so what I've got is a piece of hardboard here and I've cut it down to a little bit larger than my insert plate. And what I'm going to do first is I'm just gonna notch off a little bit off of these corners uh, to get it closer. All right, so I got that down to, you know, pretty close to the size of that, and I'm just going to put some carpet tape, double-sided tape, on the hardboard. And then stick this down to it. I've set up a flush trim bit in my router and made the bearing to where it should ride along this, uh, the metal insert plate. Let's see how it goes. All right, that worked out pretty well, although my bearing, there's a gap between the bearing and, you know, the cutting blades on the router. So this very top part here actually didn't make it smooth. So, you know, I just sanded that part off smooth. So let's go try it out. Well, I also cut a little hole in there so I have a way to pull it out, but let me just see if this is gonna snap in there. It does. Okay, and it, it's obviously, it's hitting the blade there, so I guess what I'm gonna do is move this fence over here, and then I'll raise the blade up and make the cut. Well, that actually worked out pretty well, so I should be able to pull this out. The only thing I'm worried about is the hardboard has a little bit of a uh, curve to it. It's kind of, I don't know, it's hard to keep it straight, but it seems like it's going to stay in there, snaps down, but well now it's perfectly flush. So hey, I think that's gonna work. Cool, I'm happy with that. Thanks Laney for the tip, and uh, I think I'm gonna make a much more zero clearance inserts, especially for the dado stack.